Hello everybody, I am the only pilot here. This is a slice of gaming and you are watching Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. The last time we left off we had to come to Foreside because apparently the guy at the dinosaur museum has something amazing and that we need to go check it out before the guy at the museum in Summers gets to go and check it out. So the thing here is that you could actually totally avoid all of this and you could just go right to Scarba if you want to. But that is a very bad decision. It's a bad decision because you will die. You will die very quickly. And also you missed two sanctuary spots as well. So let's do things proper. You want to know about something extraordinary? <sighs> you know there's a new singer named Venus at the Topola Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her to autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. So here we go, we got Desperate Guy. He wants an autograph from somebody famous. And a bit of a pie fact here, I've never had an autograph from really anybody before ever. The only thing I have that's signed, and I don't really count this at all, is a signed copy of a Dragon Age Inquisition because well, that worked at Bioware. So, that was just handy for me to get, but I don't have, like, a famous actor, voice person. I'd love to, though. That would be awesome if I could. So let's, uh, let's spend some money once again. Show my ticket! There you go. Alright, so unfortunately, because Venus here is all new and fancy, we have to watch her show, which will take at least two minutes. Oh, baby, baby! Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow! You cute sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me. Sing to me only, baby Venus. Just sing and I can die a happy man, baby. I want to hold you tight, Venus, baby. <laughs> Venus. So let's see how much better she is than the Runaway Five. Or worse. Next! Well, at least she, uh, kind of give it to her. She had some composure there when the guy, who looked like the curator dude, walked up on stage and tried to approach her. She still just kept singing. Hey guys, we're gonna go meet Venus. We'll see you later. Bye! Hey. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Thank you, I guess. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack. 
Not quite sure if she slapped me or kissed me, but I'm gonna say both at the same time. So hey, guys, I got a kiss and a slap from Venus. I will never wash this face ever again. Alright, let's get out of here, and hopefully this is the last stop at Topola Theater we'll ever have to make. I don't remember if there's a time we ever have to come back here, but let's hope because I'm tired of seeing shows. I'm tired of seeing boring shows. We should actually hire both Venus and the Runaway Five and own both of them. And we can make lots of money. Alright, let's let's go. Let's see what this awesome thing is. This is better be worth it after two minutes of whatever we just watched. Here is your autograph. We will use it, not give it. You got it! That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph? Yep, it's no doubt about it. Now for my promise. I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Well, hopefully you don't need it for an exhibit, because it's about to die. So, this is a sanctuary spot. The grossest sanctuary spot. This place can be difficult, and here is the main reason why, is the ghost that's up front and center. So since it's a ghost, it loves, loves, loves to possess you. And unfortunately, it doesn't really... Uh, attacks don't work very well, to put it one way. You'll have to use a lot of PSI on it, or anything that Jeff has, like the Hungry HP Sucker, in order to do any sort of damage on it, just because of how much defense it has. Nice. Don't, don't, okay. And if you get possessed, then you might as well leave, and there is quite a long walk in order to get to the hospital as well. Also, I, I kind of skipped out on leveling up Pooh because there wasn't really a good place to do it in Summers, and the Hieroglyph monsters never respawned for me, so he's a bit of a lower level than I'd like him to be. But we're gonna go for it. We're gonna sail through it. We're gonna be good. We're gonna probably die. Maybe. But we'll see what happens. Also, if you have a sneak attack, it makes things even better. We're gonna try not to get possessed. It's important to just take care of this thing as fast as you possibly can before it's able to do anything, so hey, you might want to use your your best stuff. Don't forget, Paul and Pooh have the ability to use PSI Magnet, so they can hopefully get some of their PSI back. I should have used uh, HP Sucker with, uh, with him. Stupid and accurate thunder! I keep using it expecting awesome results, and then nothing ever happens. And it makes me sad. It makes me very sad. Also, all that PSI just for nothing to happen. It's unfortunate. Let's use Magnet. You should actually learn uh, Magnet Omega fairly soon. I like when they melt into thin air. This place has quite a few items in it too. One of which is more important than the other. Don't leave here unless you have the broken bazooka, which is an item for Jeff, of course. It becomes one of his most valuable in the game. Make sure he has it. Oh! thing that I can use. I don't think anybody actually needs healing, though. Everyone just needs uh, PP right now, especially our two Magic of the Crew, or Magic Crew there. Magic of the Crew! A croissant! Hooray! Also, I'm gonna sort out Jeff's items just a little bit here, just because he does need some room for his broken stuff that he will be getting in a moment here. Also, I can use that stupid mommy wrap in battle eventually. I'll probably forget, though. Here you go! I have a thing, because Pooh has all the inventory space in the world. Apparently. And, uh, sadly, there is only one other a monster in this place. And that's it. And actually, there it is. I'm gonna go fight it. Also, I missed a, a door anyways. Did I fight this thing already? I don't remember the things that happened five seconds ago. Anyways, filthy attack roach. Nothing too terribly special about him, either. You can just fight him. And the only thing you really want to be careful of in here is just the stupid, um, ghost. But that's it. The ghost can really uh, take away a lot of your PP, though, if you're not careful, just because of its high defense. 
So since we saw everything in here and this place has run out of exciting things, I'm going to edit out any other battle that I happen to get into. So that's fun. Oh hey, it's another uh, slime generator. Hooray. I can sell that later. Nope. So I was saying, this is the point in the game where things sort of escalate a little bit in the difficulty. You will get murdered very quickly if you're not prepared for certain places. And that actually is something that happened. Not gonna lie, while I was fighting. Ah, uh, Pooh died. I live. I left. Ah, uh, I went back in. Jeff and Pooh died. Left, went back in. And now we're here. Everything is happy so far. And look well, what's inside. Hopefully it's something amazing. Another thing for Jeff. Jeff, how's your inventory space doing? Good. You have room for one more thing. Hopefully that one more thing being the uh, broken bazooka that he needs. He needs so bad. Also, while we're checking things here, Jeff needs 45 IQ, so he needs to do some leveling. And we're actually going to hit a point in the game where we'll be able to level up all day, every day, and it's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it, because I, I feel like I need to grind a little bit. Especially with uh, Pooh on the team, too. And also, I'm getting quite a few levels in this place as well, so I feel, I feel a little unprepared. But hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's gonna be great. So as we slash through the waste here, we come across another monster. Can you imagine walking through this place? I just think about it in your head as you uh, go through the muck. You can feel it in your socks and shoes. Ugh! Gross! And having your socks get all wet, you can feel the goop between your toes. Oh, you can just imagine it now. Oh yes, I need you. I need you times a million. And I love that you're in a room all by yourself, and I can't chase you and die. That's like the best part. And I could just heal. I could probably go in and out of this room for a while now too, and just just heal. Just heal so bad. I need it. Yes. So this seems like a sign that we're getting close to our destination anyways. We got the free healing. We must be getting close to the monster. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just pretend that I never saw what was out there. I'm just gonna take this one more time because I'm a cheap person. And that's what I like to do. How's everybody's PSI now? Looks good. Good, good enough. Please don't let there be a swarm of everything. Good. They're all in the water. It's just what I need. Luckily for me, I haven't been possessed by that stupid ghost thing yet anyways, so I didn't have to leave and come back after getting possessed. And then watch, as soon as I say that, I'm gonna get possessed like four times. Also, the easiest way to take care of this monster, or to get through this dungeon even faster, is if you just stay in the water and keep heading to the right. Like, don't even, don't even go up on land, because the amount of battles that there are on land versus in the water is this just a room with a monster inside? Because that would be the best. Luckily for me, it wasn't a complete waste of time, so that's good. Please let this be the broken bazooka! Hooray! So, when you see this item and when you get it, that means you're getting very close to the end of the sanctuary. But this is kind of a weird place for a sanctuary. It's like, sanctuary, you think about it, it's like, oh, it's a nice place where you can- oh my god. You could, there's a nice place where you can go and relax. Meditate, not be in peace, somewhere nice and calm and quiet. Oh, the rest of these places have been outside. And here it's like, oh, it's a sewer. So there's our uh, monster right there. Unfortunately, we do have one more mouse to take care of before we can fight him. But with him out of the way, let's make sure everyone's pretty much good. Everyone looks good. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Let's go, come on! Oh, look at this thing. Look at that mouth. Look at the blood that's in pink. Oh, oh yeah, important note. He learned uh, PSI uh, Rockin' Omega. So while we can do that, I'm not going to. Actually, hey, let's do it anyways. So bring out your best stuff. Uh, fire is better than freeze. And Jeff used the best thing that he's got, which would be... I don't know. HP Sucker? Sure. 
And as for Pooh, probably the best thing for him right now would be to uh, shield everybody. Take things cautiously. Lovely. Let's see how well this works. Or if it doesn't work at all. Oh yes, this thing can poison. Speaking of which, let's check out Rockin', the best kind of Rockin'. Look at that. Oh, so good. But hey, at least he's using the Hungry HP Sucker to get some of that health back. Or not, or it could just not work at all. So let's take care of the, the poison away from him. Let's see how much better uh, Freeze does. I know this thing is weaker against fire, but I'm just kind of curious. What do we want to do? What do we want to do with you? You can just shoot, I suppose. One thing I really need to do, actually, is um, restock on... Uh, what was it? Big Bottle Rockets. There. It's about the same, really, as fire. Oh, I guess that's the nice part, too. Is that uh, it can solidify and not have any turns, which is like, yes. Yes. Oh, that was a quick solidify, I suppose. And... You know what? We'll stick to... We'll stick to freeze, just because it does take a little bit less. What can you do? Counter PSI unit? No. Not much, really, you can do. I guess we'll just try the Hungry HP Sucker again and go from there. See how well that works. Who's doing pretty good? I was suspecting that he would die pretty much like that. Okay, there it goes. There goes the, um... There goes the thing I just said. Like, oh yes, been attacked yet, and then... Lo and behold. There you are. Um, so we want to definitely heal him for sure. Just because you never know. And it looks like the Hungry HP Sucker actually did a thing, so let's do it again. Oh yeah, he also has healing too, I forgot about that. Um, I will use just the regular shield on him, just because everybody else has one. Already all good to go. Yes! Wasted a turn! I love that. Oh, uh, why? That should really work. Oh, I used the wrong thing! I'm, a, I'm an idiot! Well, this could cost me the entire thing. Oh well. I used uh, healing instead of life up. Like a, like a dummy. That's okay. Everyone's still good. I just uh Pooh and Jeff are really going to not be able to do anything. Do you have any like goods at all that you can use? Not really. Mirror's not going to work at all. So we're not even going to try that. Yes! There we go. Not a bad battle. I mean, that was probably the one that I struggled with the most as of this point. So things are about to get much more difficult, but don't worry, we're about to hit a point in the game where we can level up all day, every day. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And we can heal free. It'll be amazing. I love it. Alright, so before we uh, even touch that thing... Oh, I guess we can't even get, grab the chest first. I guess this is more important. Alright, what do you got? Chest. Make sure you grab this before you leave, too. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness Soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Whoa! Carrot key! So, this is when we go back to uh, Dalam, actually. Because if you remember those rabbit statues from before... I wonder if this is gonna work. Oh, I guess we're in a sanctuary spot, so we can't teleport right now. So I suppose what I will do then is that I will probably end this part off here and look who's here to greet me. Look who's here to greet me and run away from me. I will kill you. Anyways, I will end this part here and I will uh, be out of this place and I will meet you out there and then we'll be, we'll teleport to Delon and everything will be awesome forever. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.